Someone asked us if we could talk about the Aaronic blessing in Paleo-Hebrew. This is a blessing that Father commanded the High Priest Aaron and his sons to speak over the children of Israel. And the purpose of this blessing is because Father wanted to bless the children of Israel and he wanted to place his name over the children of Israel. And so he told Aaron to speak these words to them. Yevarecha Yohevohe Ve Yish Merecha Yaer Yohevohe Pana Elecha Vi Kunecha Yisa Yohevohe Pana Elecha Ve Yasem Lecha Shalom a literal translation of these words is, He will bless you, Yohevohe, and He will keep you. He will cause to shine, Yohevohe, His face upon you, and He will be gracious to you. He will lift up, Yohevohe, His countenance upon you, and He will give to you peace. Some of these words in this blessing uh, we've gone over in a few of the episodes of the Paleo-Hebrew Alphabet series. Most recently in the episode about the letter Resh, we talked about the word Barak and how by the letters, Barak is a picture of what Father puts in man's hand. So the very first thing that he wants to do is put things into your hands. Now that could be things such as various skills that you need to get through your life, or it could be physical things that you need. If you think about everything that Father has put in your hands, and you look at the whole collection of all the blessings, all the uh, beer coats that he's given you, it all totals up to what's in your hand within your gates. Now that's the word kabod which we looked at in the Gimel episode, and your kabod is your wealth. That is your wealth and your glory and your weight. It is the, the sum total of all of the blessings of the Lord. So Yohevohe will bless you and he will keep you. The word for keep in Paleo-Hebrew is shamar, and the root word for shamar is shem, which is name. The Father has given you a name if you are his, and that name is written in his book of life. And Father equates you having a name with your very existence. So if you are alive, your name is in his book. He is the chief of your name. He is the, the one who guards your life, Shamar. It's written that the Shamar of Israel, which is our father, never sleeps. So he never takes a break from guarding your very life. This blessing also says that he will cause his face to shine on you. The, uh, the word there in Hebrew is the word for light. So or is the root word. And, you know, there's one thing that I noticed uh, when, I very, when I first started learning Hebrew that I thought was kind of amazing. And I took a look at these verses. And that's, in church I had always heard um, this blessing read as, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. But when you look at this in Hebrew, the word may is not there. This is not um, something saying, hopefully, you know, hopefully Father will bless you, hopefully he'll keep you. Um, he's saying, he will bless you. He will keep you. He will cause his face to shine on you. He will show you grace. He will give you peace. And so this blessing is a guarantee of what he will do for his children. The very last word in this blessing is shalom. So one of the things that he wants to give to us is his peace. This is the picture that comes to mind when I think of the word shalom. In the original Hebrew, the letters would have been Sheen, Lamed, Mem. And if you think about the very, very choppy waters that the apostles were on when they were on the boat in the middle of the Galilee, and they're in the middle of a storm, 
and they're freaking out. And Yeshua is on the boat with them, but he's asleep. And so they they wake him up and they, they say, hey, you know, we need we need some help. We're going to die here. And he gets up and he tells the waters, quiet, peace, be still. And the storm passes. So to me, this word shalom, when I when I see it and when I think about it, it's a picture of father's power over the waters. And he wants to give us his power over whatever sort of tumultuous thing is going on out there or within ourselves. He gives us his peace, no matter what. Shalom. Shalom.